Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of the player career mode here at Arsenal. I was supposed to start recording this like an hour ago, but I just got hung up on the phone with the familia. If you guys haven't taken time to talk to the family, if you don't live at home, obviously, um, definitely take time to do that, man. But I hope everybody's doing okay in quarantine. Everybody is happy, living life, uh, loving everything. Is that this song that has that much feedback? That is wild. All right. So we're going to hop into the next game, which is going to be this Barnsley match. I think I said I'm going to skip this one, and I'm pretty sure that is still accurate. I did want to show you guys in terms of our league objectives. Um, we needed a better than a 6.7. We have an 8.0. We needed to create 15 goals. We've already created 15, maybe even 16, I think. Um, and then we had to create over 46 scoring chances, and we've already done that as well. Um, again, we're just over the halfway point in the season. So if we look at the calendar, uh, we do have the Barnsley match, and then we have the Fulham match coming up the weekend um, before we play Hoffenheim and then Chelsea right after. So just in terms of my stamina for these next two or three weeks, I'm probably going to skip this Barnsley match. I have full faith that we'll win this game. Um, I just don't believe that I have the stamina to play in it, but I'll check really quick just to see. Yeah, my, the, I would die in that game, man. I would absolutely die in that game. So um, let's go ahead and... We're just going to skip past the Barnsley match. We'll see. We won 5-0. Yeah. We have a really, really good team. There's no real reason for me to force it in those situations. So um, we that says semifinals, but I don't think that's accurate. Let's see what round that's going to be. It's against Man United, which actually just pushed our Chelsea game. So we're going to be playing against Man U in the FA Cup. Um, and then, again, that did just push our Chelsea game back. But this is round six, so is this not, is that not quarterfinals? Wait. Is there a second page to this? No, this is only one page, right? Oh, okay. So yeah, round six. Um, Man U, Arsenal, Watford, Bournemouth, Newcastle, Spurs, and Wolves, Man City. So not too many really strong teams left in this. Obviously, Man City, Spurs, Man United, us and then wolves i would say are probably like my biggest priority in terms of this but we'll see what ends up happening in the i guess that's quarterfinals so um or four teams eight games is that quarterfinals no yes no that's the one before quarterfinals round of 16 that's what i'm thinking of all right let's see Let's run these training drills. All right, simulate all, run this up really quick. And then we're gonna hop into this match against Fulham, I believe. We should be good to play in this Fulham match and then Hoffenheim um, after that. I do wanna play in that FA Cup game, so I might only play the first half of this game and then the first half of the Hoffenheim match, um, just in terms of thinking what we're looking at for stamina because i just don't want to burn all of it before that fa cup game we did already win the carabao cup in this career mode if you guys did miss uh the last episode or the one before that i think it was the last episode right it was the final um so we we won the carabao cup we are still in europa league we're still in the fa cup and i mean technically we do still have a chance for the league as well um, but currently we're sitting in fifth in the league so we do want to make sure that we can win um the Europa League to get into the Champions League, but definitely also want to be making sure that we're getting... Um, we should get the Europa League from the Carabao Cup, I believe. If not, we do want to make sure that we're winning the FA Cup as well uh, to get Europa League at that rate as well, just in case we drop out of the top five. I don't think we will, but you never know. With the, uh, with the Premier League, you never truly know. Defense, boys. Doesn't look like uh, Zagadou is still not back in the team. He got injured a couple weeks ago. It was only supposed to be like a five-day injury, but it just could be based off of stamina and things like that. He's not back in the team yet. It's a Kanji and Mavropanos, I believe, in goal or in defense again. So we'll see. Hopefully, Zagadou doesn't get injured too badly. 
Oh, that was almost a good tackle. But we get away. I'm going to cut this back in. Into Declan Rice. That was a really bad pass. It still almost worked, but Deck did not put any power in that shot at all. At all. Give that up to Pepe. Pepe back down to me. I'm going to cut it back inside. Take a touch. Finesse shot. Blocked by the defender. Damn. Give me that. Oh, I think I got it. I got it. I got it. Shoot that. That's a goal. Let's go, baby. We stole the ball off the pass, and we get the goal. 1-0 up against Fulham. We've been all over him this game, but we finally get the shot on goal. And the goal itself. Man, I, I really enjoy this career mode right now. Obviously, being 94 rated changes a lot. But just playing in this team, understanding my position, playing center attacking mid. That is our fifth goal in the Premier League. Having an absolute blast in this career mode. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Obviously, we're just kind of on the road to FIFA 21. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, would you guys rather see a straight up player career mode next year um, like this one was? Or would you rather see like a wonder kid type career mode? Um, you know, taking over somebody's career mode that's pretty young. Um, oh, Declan. I was on side. Let's go, baby. I hit it on the volley, and we get the second goal of the game. Declan Rice deserved that goal, but we end up getting the rebound. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you guys rather see a um, player career mode like this one where, you know, we have our own story. We're starting at, you know, the very beginning of our career mode. Or would you rather see me take over a career like Lee Sung Woo or something of that nature like we did back in FIFA 18, I guess that was? Um where we took over a wonder kids career mode um or career and tried to play through it like that honestly i've thought about just doing lee sung woo and trying to get back to barcelona i think that would be a really really cool career mode um which depending on how fast i finish the other career modes maybe we even do this year and we don't even wait for fifa 21 um who knows we'll see but I do definitely want to make sure that we're getting through the Lazio and Aberdeen career modes as well. Not to mention this one. We still at least want to try to win Champions League with Arsenal. Um, win the Prem with Arsenal. And then we can, you know, maybe either look at ending the career mode there or moving on to a, maybe even a bigger club. Um, who knows? All right. End of the first half. 2-0 up. Both of them our goals. I would like to get the hat trick in this game, but I do think I'm only going to play the first half. Um, I do want full stamina in the Hoffenheim match. I have full faith we're going to win this game. I'm going to go ahead and come out 2-0 up against Fulham in the first half. We'll hop into this Hoffenheim game. Again, we're probably only going to play the first half as long as it goes well. Um, and then we will be jumping into the Man United game in the FA Cup next episode. But let's make sure that we get a good start in the first leg against Hoffenheim. Let's make sure we won that game against Fulham. Uh, we won 4 nil. That is absolutely beautiful. Um, again, I probably could have played this game and saw a good stamina for this match, but just in terms of making sure that we're in a good place for the FA Cup, we will, we wanted to uh, just, you know, do as well as we could. Harry Kane gets player of the month. Uh, we have 21 goals and 22 assists now in 36 games, so still creating more than one goal on average uh, per game, which is absolutely beautiful. And we love to see that. Uh, the team that we're going into the Europa League with is Munoz, Zagadu's back in the team, Akanji, Maitland Niles, Reese Nelson, um, Torreira, Gu uh, Guinduzzi, uh, Pepe, Malish, and Lammers up top. Um, I'm still kind of curious what what's it going to take to get uh, to get Martinelli back on the field. He hasn't even been playing on the wing recently. Granted, he was not playing that well at left wing, but. Um, and I do, I really do enjoy Reese Nelson. But I'm kind of curious, just, you know, where's my boy Martinelli at? We brought him back to the club to play. I really thought he'd get striker, but um, he's, uh, he's kind of been struggling there. Let's see. This is going to be an interesting game. I don't even know who plays for Hoffenheim. Just like, this could be a good team now. Who knows? We're playing at home, though, so we, we get to hopefully get off on a good start. I'm trying to see if I can see anybody. Back in the Europa League. 
We've done so well. We haven't conceded a goal yet this season in Europa League. Um, so we want to keep that same energy going. Origi and Nainggolan play here. I've seen both of them so far. Ooh, Lammers. Nice ball, Lammers. Get that goal. Oh, what a save. I should have just smashed it. I tried to finesse it. It was a little too late for the finesse shot. Could have been a goal. Should have been a goal, honestly. The way we've been scoring recently. Especially in the Europa League. Should have been a goal. Still nil-nil, 15 minutes in, but that is A-OK. -okay. We've saw the majority of the ball here. Lammers, get that. Easy, let's go, baby. 1-0 up, we finally get the opportunity. Lammers timed that run perfectly. I saw the second he turned to go run that down the field, and it worked perfectly. My frames look a lot better on my side. I know, like, last episode, I think the gameplay was fine. Um in terms of the video but for me it was like it was having micro stutters with this new monitor messed around with some settings and i think it's been a little bit better still having a little bit of screen tearing and some stuff but nothing too bad oh that's a good tackle i tried to avoid it so hard i think that's going out e Ooh, way to keep that in ain't even mad that was clean End of the first half. We just couldn't get anything good other than that one goal, which is fine. We still have a 1-0 lead. I didn't want to play this full game. I'm going to play a little bit more this second half just to make sure that we're really in a good spot because I don't want them to get the away goal. So I'm talking like I'm literally going to play the beginning of this half the second the ball goes out and coming out. Hopefully it doesn't happen in like a couple minutes, but um, we still want to make sure we are at a good stamina rating for the Man U FA Cup match next episode. Down to Lammers. Beautiful ball. Get that goal. I can't score today. Oh, we got those first two goals in the first episode or the first game, but couldn't get the goal here. Damn, I wish I could have come off on a goal. That would have been beautiful. Declan Rice going to play center attacking mid. Full faith that these boys can get the win, though. So let's see. We'll check the calendar. 1-0 victory. We'll take it. 1-0 going into the second leg in Hoffenheim next episode. So next episode is going to be a pretty big one. We're going to have the game against Manchester United. We're going to have the game against Hoffenheim. We're going to play in both of those matches. Um, and then there's Brentford and international break. And then we're back in, uh, you know, going through the league. Obviously, the schedule will change a little bit once we do figure out um, if we get through both of these legs what the rest of our schedule is looking like for the rest of the season. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Peace.